always find the basically the way how you can quote the thinkers like in this question i would say write the definition of the performance appraisal uh, by you hello everyone welcome to pluto science this side see surali jindal in the last video we have discussed about the uh, to 2024 uh, paper 2 discussion in that we have discussed about the otob that is asked in the part a now in this video we will talk about the hrm and ir question that is that is given in the part b so let's start with the first question uh, as you know the fifth and the first question is compulsory and in the first and fifth question the upsc asked basically five short notes and uh, these are the 10 markers and you will be given two pages to write this answer now this first question talks about the problems in the hrp as in the last video also you have seen that i have told you like how the direct questions has been asked from the syllabus and directly from the previous year questions the questions has been derived but yes this year we have seen some new unconventional questions also if you understand what is hrp that is human resource planning it means basically we are identifying and addressing the current and future needs of the organization so that we can fill the positions of the human resource and that is the most important resource in any organization now if you understand what is human resource planning obviously you can think about the problems also in the last video also i have told you develop a theme or the approach how will you think in the exam even if the new question would come like in this question also you can uh, think about the stakeholders thing like if we think who is planning basically the human resource manager it means there is there could be some bias while thinking about this and top management intervention is also required it means the top management uh, the opinion or the strategy will also affect the human resource planning maybe they will not give that much funds that is required as such so the financial constraints can also arise so this way you need to think about the human resource planning and moreover i have told you think about the syllabus like in the human resource management what the syllabus includes we talk about the job analysis even the human resource planning will be affected by the issues and the limitations of the job analysis and uh, i have uh, tried to basically summarize it for you like we have already told you even the environment uh, is also having uncertainty like you have also read about the vuca environment that is a volatile uncertain environment and the complex environment is there that is why that creates the uncertainty even you have made a plan maybe that will not work because uh, it could change as the new technology can also come and if we are living in the glo globalized world and we have a diverse wide workforce that also creates a problem and we have discussed about the job analysis we have discussed about the business strategies and most important the lack of accurate data obviously the about the planning the most important thing is the having the data if we are not using the statistical tools or the updated technology we will not having the data and if we don't have a data like how much there is a labor turnover how much uh, new employment is required or you the change of the work is there if we don't have the accurate data this will be affected so this way you need to think a rapid technological change resistance to change i hope you are able to understand and in every question i am also telling you how to approach your answer and how you can divide your answer to fill the two pages like in this firstly define about the human resource planning then write the direct questions uh, problems faced in the human resource planning obviously whatever is asked for that you have to basically give the more space but in this question discuss word is used which means you have a discretion obviously if you are writing the problems you have to write the way forward also but the more space should be given to the problems and <laughs> this way in the one and a half page you can write about the problems then uh, give the way forward also and the conclusion you can can uh, be prepared uh, in advance like the 360 degree feedback or uh, technology deployment or the use of ai for the collecting the data you can be prepared in advance for that as it is already mentioned in the syllabus then moving forward to the next question uh, it is about the limitations of the 360 degree feedback and in your syllabus itself uh, it talks about the 360 degree feedback the syllabus says the performance appraisal and the 360 degree feedback and it, this question has been asked 
many times in the past so you should be prepared in advance what is 360 degree feedback so the person is getting a feedback from all the sides like uh, superior will also give the feedback that uh, subordinate will give the feedback and the peer group is will also give the feedback and the customers will also give the feedback and uh, you can say that the suppliers uh, with whom uh, that person is interacting or having a relationship in the employment that will give the feedback what will happen with this if many people will give the feedback obviously the biasness of one person can be reduced and uh, we can uh, have a better evaluation and this will can also motivate a person also so removing the bias this way you can think about the merits and limitations obviously how much time we give to the feedback as uh, in the uber uh, how we rate the uber driver like uh, we uh, put a five star or uh, this way this way uh, we can say that the biasness in the feedback in the india it's also creating the problem in the 360 degree feedback so this way you can think about the merits and limitation but again this has already been asked in the past so you should be better prepared and one thing uh, more thing i tell you always find a basically the way how you can quote the thinkers like in this question i would say write the definition of the performance appraisal uh, by using the thinker definition or the you can also write the uh, prepare the definition of the 360 degree feedback of uh, any kind of thinker and in this you can uh, find a way to quote the uh, macgregor or the theory why workers also because this is uh, useful for them and this way you can write the merits this means uh, in the hr and mir also you have to use the ot and ob thinkers because that will give the more authenticity otherwise in the hr and mir you will be writing the very lame answers and to fetch more marks you have to give the uh, thinkers in your answers <coughs> next uh, part why is uh, collective bargaining not uh, effective in india explain its reasons uh, this is uh, directly given in your syllabus and for if any topic is given obviously we will prepare about the problems in that and again in this question also you can think about the stakeholders wise like how the different stakeholders are involved and what problems they create like for example let me show you before that uh, what is collective bargaining basically the employer and employee are uh, reaching to the agreement to uh, create the terms and conditions how the basically employment will be dictated or the how it will be regulated through the terms and conditions so this is the interaction between the employer and employee so this is the uh, collective bargaining you can explain this in the simple terms and then how to approach this way i was telling if you are prepared about the stakeholders like who are involved in the collective bargaining then you can write the problems also like here if we see the most important thing is law or the government like if we see if we have legalized the collective bargaining or not the law is having the provisions or not the due to the availability of the adjudication we can say that the people do not resort to collective bargaining as such and the participation of the government is also plays a role in the collective bargaining working then you can think of the labor like a uh, labor should be aware enough then only they can uh, get the chance and uh, they should be given the training and maybe the labor is not confident enough to uh, basically face the management this is also a problem in the um, collective barring then you can talk about the management like attitudinal problem uh, is there even uh, sometimes employer is not in uh, know that who is a bargaining agent there like uh, trade union can also create a problem like it is not uh, clear what is the real problem there and you can talk about the problems in the trade union then like we have a multiple trade unions and uh, there is a inter union live uh, rivalry also you can talk about the uh, lack of identification of the trade unions by the management this way you can write the problems like if you know about the stakeholders if you will start applying your mind then you will get at least two to three points under three uh, each stakeholders this way if there are four stakeholders it means you will get around 10 points and these are enough to write in any exam or in any question <coughs> now coming back to the question if you know the what are the problems always you can think about the solutions again in this question i have told you define collective bargaining first then write about why it is not effective then give a way forward uh, let me discuss the formal problems in the collective bargaining i have told you about the weak unions like we have a multiple trade unions 
inter union rivalry is there and uh, they also have a weak financial position because of the uh, poor members of the trade unions and the low recognition of the trade unions thereafter we have uh, also discussed about the problems from the government that due to the industrial relations the laws are very uh, tight and that is why we are not able to uh, increase the collective bargaining then we have a uh, areas of the collective bargaining have not grown in the view of the encouragement given to the wage vote pay commissions like we have lots of other provisions in the law that's why we are not able to uh, approach the collective bargaining then we have discussed about that uh, adjudication is uh, easily available that is why our people are not approaching for the collective bargaining we have discussed about the attitude of management <coughs> uh, the another problem is outsiders even in the trade unions there are some outsiders because as per the act uh, the office barriers can be outsiders what will happen with this they do not even know the exact problems uh, that is there in the basically with the labor what is the actual problem and they do not even know the history of the labor union movement in the particular enterprise what will happen and even the employer or the management is not uh, having a intention to share the problems with the outsider this is also the problem in the trade union working now next question how is the voluntary separation different from the involuntary separation in this question uh, again this is the directly given in your syllabus as the uh, syllabus says the transfers and the separation if you have covered the separation topic obviously you must have read about the what is voluntary and involuntary separation what is voluntary you can think of it like the if the employer is leaving the organization willingly it will be voluntary separation and what is involuntary it means the employer has expelled uh, expelled the employee and now in this question while writing about the differences that is asked in the how it is different from each other if you understand the meaning what you can write like you can write about the causes about the each like for example in the voluntary separation what will happen uh, why that person is living because maybe he that a uh, person is dissatisfied with the organization you can uh, also quote about the hersberg if you have read about it what hersberg says if there is a lack of sanitation factors that is the uh, that creates the dissatisfaction then that person can leave so uh, you can quote the hersberg maslow if the needs are not satisfied as such this way you can use the thinkers even in the simple ir question also then you can uh, write about the other causes uh, for the separation and then in the involuntary what could be the reasons like uh, due to the reduced productivity of the employee or any kind of uh, conflict that is creating or uh, if he is changing the affecting the environment of the organization that could also be the reason for the sep involuntary separation that is uh, by the employer you can call, write the cause then you can write the effect also like how the voluntary separation will affect a voluntary separation is mostly a planned one and uh, it is not creating that uh, basically more dissatisfaction in other employees but it also affects the productivity of other employees because uh, other employees think that why this person is leaving the organization maybe something is not working uh, good this way you can write the effect also in the involuntary what happens is it creates the sudden change or the labor turnover can increase with this it means the it will affect the working conditions and the labor productivity so this is how you can write in this uh, now in this question as it is 10 marker maybe you will not be able to fill the two pages to write uh, the differences you can uh, find a opportunity to write the similarities also because in both of them the what is happening that employees leaving the organization you can also conclude with this and uh, you can give the way forward like how we can prevent this by using the uh, technology or you can say better 360 degree uh, feedback or participative uh, approach to bring the satisfaction and uh, we can have a basically intervention and a mentoring kind of thing so instead of going for separation we should have a mentoring kind of thing the buddy program that the godrej continues with that uh, what will happen is uh, we will be able to resolve the problem at the initial stages and even these kind of things can lead to the industrial disputes later on so the conclusion is uh, always while reading the question 
uh, think about how you can write the answer. But yes, if you understand the topic, no question can be difficult. But yes, in the optionals, uh, they asked uh, specifically directly from the syllabus and they all also asked the previous year questions repeatedly. So you, I, I always recommend to cover from 2014 to now 2024. Now let's move to the uh, last question today. Uh, that's uh, fifth question, uh, E part. Explain the productivity implications of the labor turnover. Now, again, this is given in your syllabus, labor turnover in the Indian ent industries and their causes and remedies. Now, this question talks about the how the labor turnover, what, okay, what is labor turnover? I have already told you, if the uh, employee is leaving the organization, so this is a change in the organization uh, that the employee is leaving. This is called as labor turnover. Now, how it impacts the productivity? Of course, that uh, if the person is living, uh, if he would be at the notice period, he will not work uh, efficiently as such. And secondly, if the, uh, there is a new employee has come up, we have to incur the training cost as well. And that person may be mishandling the tools and we can have a more repair or maintenance cost. Uh, this will increase. And th uh, thirdly, you can talk about like the new employee will not be able to work with that efficiency and it will also affect the motivation. Here also you can use the uh, that uh, motivational theories about the vector model that talks about the there is a relationship between the motivation and the performance. Now in this question it is talking about the productivity implications of the labor turnover. You can write about the positive uh, implications also like if the labor turnover if the inefficient employees living and we are hiring the efficient one that can have a positive implication as well so this way you can write the both positive and negative to conclude the answer and again always uh, find a room to quote a thinker that i have uh, talked about so we will uh, continue with the hrm and ir discussion in the next videos thank you everyone